I'm Konstantinos Daskalakis, uh, also known as Kostis Daskalakis. I'm a professor of computer science uh, at MIT and I'm the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and in the uh, Computer Science and AI Laboratory. A lot of my work focuses on the interface between computer science and uh, game theory and economics. Uh, and there are several reasons why I'm interested in this interface. One is a very practical reason, and that's uh, that um, a lot of uh, human economic activity is happening uh, online on computational platforms. So um, um, you need some handle to um, design uh, these platforms in a way that takes into account, besides the computational um, um, uh, issues, also the strategic and incentive issues. So that's a very practical reason why this interface is important, especially one, you know, now that a lot of the economic activity is happening online. But there's also a deeper philosophical reason why this is important, and that relates uh, to uh, the foundations of game theory and economics, which have to do with bounded rationality. Uh, when you make predictions about what humans in a strategic uh, a scenario are going to be doing, you should also take into account that uh, humans are not infinitely rational, and in particular, they have uh, um, uh, computational constraints in what they're able to uh, think about in a finite amount of time. So you really have to um, inject into uh, uh, your game theoretic and economic uh, approach to analyzing behavior, also the computational barriers that uh, uh, humans are gonna be facing when they're making decisions. So uh, that's a, yet another reason why this interface um, is uh, very interesting. Lastly, there are very interesting mathematics and very interesting uh, uh, computational questions that arise once you start thinking about that interaction that uh, motivates that uh, interface uh, even more. Uh, Nash equilibrium is a mathematical theory whose goal is to characterize what happens in a, uh, when strategic individuals interact uh, in a game or, or in, in, a, in a very general um, um, notion of what a game is, which is basically um, a strategic uh, interaction. Uh, roughly speaking, uh, an Nash equilibrium is um, a strategy for every individual uh, that is uh, participating in that uh, interaction, uh, with, with the property that given what the other players, what the other individuals are doing, and no player uh, unilaterally can improve his position by updating his strategy. So, so that's a natural equilibrium. It's a choice of strategy for every participant so that everybody is happy. At least they cannot, in the sense that they cannot unilaterally improve their situation by changing their strategy. It could be that, you know, like some global move can make everybody happier, but uh, uh, every individual move cannot. So what my uh, work with uh, Goldberg and Papa Dimitri has shown is that when a uh, game is very complex, when a strategic uh, situation becomes uh, very complex, it has a lot of moving parts, a lot of knobs for the players to tune to update their strategies, then uh, it may be computationally really hard for the players to actually arrive at uh, Nash equilibrium, which uh, philosophically implies that um, uh, if the um, agents are computationally bounded, which uh, they are, uh, they will actually not be able to discover a Nash equilibrium. And in particular, um, in this case, the predictions of Nash equilibrium should not be trusted as, you know, characterizing what really happens in the situation of conflict.